Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the indoctrination campaign. So let's start with the role of the indoctrination campaign. Now the indoctrination campaign's sole responsibility is to welcome new subscribers by telling them what they can expect and what they need to do next to get the biggest benefit from you and your brand. Now remember, the indoctrination campaign is only sent out to new subscribers who have never been on your email list before. So no matter what they subscribed for, they should get that and they should also get an indoctrination campaign. Now, I'm going to be talking a lot about real world scenarios and business scenarios as we go through each different campaign type and each different phase of, of email marketing. But on, on this one, I want to start with what uh, the scenario is not. So you see that creepy looking fellow there staring at his phone? This is not your new subscriber, okay? This is not them yet. Now let me explain. Someone has subscribed to your email list, but that doesn't mean that they recognize your name in their inbox or they look forward to hearing from you, okay? Again, not this guy. They're not sitting by the phone, whether it's to uh, read your email, hear your call, or get your text message. The relationship is not there yet. So the indoctrination campaign needs to start to change that. All right, it needs to start to change that and start building that relationship with your new subscriber. So let's talk about storyboarding your indoctrination campaign, and more importantly, some things that we're gonna focus on in this campaign. So the very first thing we'll focus on in the indoctrination campaign is, is welcoming and introducing yourself to new subscribers. Now, we'll quickly move into restating the benefits of being a subscriber. Remember, we've got to get them excited and we need to always, always, you'll hear, hear this theme a lot as we move forward, reference the most recent positive action your subscriber took. Now, in this case, they subscribed, right? That was the most recent positive action. They subscribed based on something they were excited about. We need, to, we need to immediately remind them of why they were so excited, why they took action in the first place, and start to uh, reward that action. We need to tell them what to expect. Now, a little bit later on in the training, we're gonna talk about um, uh, re-engagement campaigns and email deliverability and what to do when things have gone a little wrong on, on uh, engaging with your list. I'll tell you, Re-engagement and email deliverability actually starts with indoctrination. So if you're not first saying, hi, my name's Richard, I'm with Digital Marketer, our mission is to double the size of 10,000 businesses by 2020, here's what you can expect from this email. We'll email, or from, from uh, being a subscriber to the Digital Marketer uh, newsletter. We will email you twice a week with fresh, relevant content about uh, about doubling your list, right? So I'm starting to set expectation as to topic of the email and as to frequency. Tell them what to expect from you. Tell them what to do next and we'll, we'll dive in and start breaking these down a little bit more in, a, in an actual campaign. Encourage whitelisting. You'll see kind of uh, moving them around and asking them to do things. We call it micro commitments. So in this very first email, we want to take a position of authority. We want to ask them or tell them to do something, uh, and those that comply will have accepted you as an authority. So we're not going to ask them to do anything uh, weird or or too uh, you know too committal. We're going to ask them to whitelist our email. We may ask them to follow us on social media, but just small micro commitments on their end. We're gonna put our best fet foot forward, our best fet, our best foot forward. We're going to show them our best stuff. This is a first date, right? You're gonna wear your best clothes, you're gonna tell your best stories, you're gonna tell your best jokes. You have a captive audience, a new relationship for a very short time. You have to show them your best stuff right up front, okay, right up front. And usually the campaign length during uh, an, an indoctrination campaign is gonna be one to three emails. That's it, we're talking one to three emails. So we can do that and let's go ahead and dive right in and use a real world example here. So I wanna go in and, and go ahead and structure a, a indoctrination campaign. Let's go ahead and write out the subject lines and talk about when we're gonna send them. And for this example, let's use a sample business. Let's assume that I'm a mattress company. Now, you've probably heard me talk about mattress companies uh, in, in promotions before, uh, and you definitely will hear this example throughout. We'll also throw in a few other examples so that you can kind of get to understand why or how to use uh, indoctrination campaigns and the other campaigns 
in your business. So if I'm a mattress store, right, if I'm a physical or even an e-commerce mattress store and someone subscribes to my email list, now hopefully and more than likely they're subscribing for uh, a, a specific lead magnet, but we'll get to that uh, in, in just a few minutes. But what do I say in the first email? What's the subject line of the first email? Well, the first email that goes out is going to be a welcome email, right? It's going to go immediately, so it should be day zero, actually not day one, day zero. And the subject line is going to be something really crafty like, welcome to the mattress store, 20% off coupon. Now, if I just subscribe to the mattress store newsletter, I expect to receive an email. I may or may not, depending on what I, uh, what I signed up for, expect to receive a discount. So if the discount's a bonus, there's just a higher probability that as someone just subscribing to the mattress store, ideally being interested in mattresses, that I'm going to open this email. Now we'll talk about contents of email later, but really again, this first email should really just focus on welcoming them. Here's who we are, here's what we stand for. Right? If you have a company that's, that's really built on a mission or a vision, now's the time to sell that. Uh, it's, to, it's to really start to build relationship. Here's who I am, here's what I'm about, here's why you should be excited to be with me, right? Why you should be excited to be a part of what I'm doing. Here's what you can expect from me. If you want more cool stuff, go follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, whatever your social channels are, now is the time to start sending people around and getting micro commitments for them to go in and like you on those other on those other properties. Okay? So the first message is all about welcoming and setting expectations. Now, after the first message, we want to send a couple more mails to really start to strengthen that relationship. We call this the best of, right? The best of series. Now, break this down uh, specifically digital marketers uh, best of and indoctrination campaign in a separate video, but the next day after a subscriber uh, joined the mailing list for my uh, mattress store that I just opened and cleverly named the mattress store, I would send them a, a best of email. Now, ideally this is content, content or press, right? If I'd written a, uh, a, a blog or if I had a video about uh, social media and your sleep habits, so if it were something to the effect of of uh, needing to put down your smartphone or get off of social media and electronics 30 minutes before going to sleep, I would probably write uh, an email with a real catchy and, and maybe contrarian uh, subject line like, is Facebook stealing your sleep? Now if I sent that over to an information-based uh, either video or blog, then I'm adding value first. I'm, I'm not trying to sell them a mattress. I'm, but I do know that their desired end result is to get more sleep. So if I've written a blog article about that and I send it to them, the, my new friend that I just met yesterday, that friend happens to be a brand, it's the mattress store, said hello like a normal new friend would, and then the next day, assuming the relationship went well in a real relationship, that person may send me something of value and say, hey, um, after our conversation yesterday, I just happened to run across this, thought you might like it. That's what would happen in a real relationship. There's no reason that shouldn't happen in email as well. So the next day I may send them something, is Facebook stealing your sleep? Send them over to something that not only uh, cements me as an authority, but adds value first. Now the, the day three or day two, the, the third email, I would send something, this made me think of you. All right, this made me think of you. Now that could be any piece of content. Really, I would use this subject line in any business whatsoever. There's some psychological, uh, there, or there's, it's really psychologically loaded. I'm sorry, it's really psychologically loaded subject line. This made me think of you. Well, who thinks of you? you know, we all feel good if, if someone, we know someone's thinking about us, whether it's uh, a friend, um, a, a significant other, family, uh, or acquaintance, in this case, maybe a brand, but just the words, this made me think of you, cements that someone was thinking of us at some point, and that is meaningful. We're gonna open that email. Now, that could be anything. It could be a great article, it could be a great video, it could be a funny video, it could be a funny meme about not sleeping. So, the kind of the, the moral of the story and the job of this three-part campaign is to build relationship, right? Build relationship, remembering the customer journey. Before we can ask for too much, we have to build the appropriate relationship. So here's a quick sample campaign for a mattress store, my store, the mattress store. 
Ne in the next video, we're gonna break down digital marketers indoctrination campaign, and I'm really gonna go line by line through what we say to new subscribers and show you how you can, you can tweak this campaign to send to your subscribers. So I'll see you in the next video.